Hi, I'm DJ Shears, and I'm the creative mind behind Easy Robot. Easy Robot was originally an idea that I came up with personally just to help me build a robot. It was just how can I build a robot that I wanted to do little things at home. And then people started, because of the internet, getting publicity. People started emailing saying, how can I do what you're doing? I said, well, I don't know, that's going to be a huge challenge. How can I take all this crazy math and programming and complications behind building a robot and make it easy for the average person to be able to just clip something together and put together a robot, something they dreamt up? I decided to create a product that allows the average person to be able to put together a robot, something more advanced than what Lego Mindstorms can do, something more advanced than the other companies were doing out there. I wasn't happy with what they were creating, so I created something of my own. And I thought to myself, well, this is great. Let's bring this to market. Let's actually try selling it. So I started selling these things to people, and people started buying them. People were interested, and they wanted to build a robot. They wanted to come home and take that idea of a robot from a movie they've seen, the idea of a robot to help a disability patient, or the idea of a robot to automate their home, and they wanted to be able to produce something from the idea. And that's where Easy Robot came from. So the idea of a robot to most people is something that is autonomous, meaning it can make its own decisions, it can drive around, and it can kind of be like a pet. It can be like a living life form inside of your home. And whether or not it is a pet type robot, maybe it's a vacuum, or maybe it's something that's gonna help somebody with, with, with a disability. So the idea of Easy Robot was to not create a remote controlled device, something that you don't have to interact with with a joystick to control it and help to do things. We want our robots, and easy robots, to do their own thing. We want easy robots to be able to make up their mind and understand their environment, understand human interaction. We want robots to be able to be what they are in movies today. The market always determines when the timing is right for a business. And right now you see a lot of evidence in pop culture with references to robots. We see more and more people interested in robots. We see people getting a little bit bored with all the things that their iPhone can do, their smartphone can do. So robots are the natural evolution of the next great business idea. When someone thinks of an easy robot, we don't want people to think of a toy. We don't want people to think of a corporate identity. We don't want people to think of an industrial robot. We want people to think of a creative outlet for their desire to own and build a robot. We want people to be able to think of something that they want to do to change the world, whether it's a robot that helps a paraplegic that doesn't have any legs move and walk, or whether it's to help a car autonomously self-park itself, or whether it's to help a home understand when you get home and turn on and off the stove before you leave. There's a lot of interesting tactics that people are taking with the Easy Robot software and hardware to produce products of their own. People are being able to design and create their own stuff. So we're giving them the tools to create that robot, to create that vision.